Hey there everyone, hi, it's Leah Eversole, and thanks to my teammates for passing the proverbial baton. Yes, the pre-processing tool we have chosen to share with you today is SPSS Statistics. As a Miami student, you have access to this software for free. You just have to make sure you are running the Miami VPN through Cisco AnyConnect while you are using the software. This software allows for high-level statistical analysis to be done on its platform, and it allows for some pre-processing techniques to be applied before you conduct your analysis. There were three main steps we took to solve the identified problems with this data. First, we transform the formatting of the data. As you can see, it's quite messy in Excel. Then we uploaded the document to the SPSS software. Then we dealt with the missing data values and the price attribute, as you can see here, by going to transform then down here to replace the missing values and if you drag the price attribute over to this pane it will um, provide the average of the sample mean in other words it will fill the average of the total sample values as the values for the missing data points if you press OK here. The third data problem we addressed was the need to extract what data was important for our particular analysis. The reason for data analysis always starts out with a business question. For example, consider being a realtor for the Melbourne area and you have a client who only wants to buy property from Barry. A way to find this information more efficiently is to delete all entities that do not have Barry as the seller attribute. However, I will pause here and say always save your original data set before making these kinds of drastic changes in your pre-processing phase. This action took the number of entities in our data set from 63,000 uh, 23 down to 6,802, which is still a lot of data. We sorted the data by number of rooms and we got rid of attributes that were not necessary for our data analysis question. Here is the resulting cleaned up data in SPSS. There we go. This data is now a lot more ready for the data analysis process than it was when we first started. We think this tool is very effective as a high functioning data management tool as it sets up the data to go on from the pre processing stage to the data analysis stage with the ability of advanced statistics being applied to from here. As you can see, SPSS has a data view and a variable view. In the data view, it shows the number of entities and the attributes we've chosen to keep. In the variable view, you can name the attributes, say what type of um, number it is and you can assign how many decimal places give it a label you can add a value here if you'd like for example one equals male and two equals female for further data analysis and you can align it so everything is in the center of the cells 
That's how I like to see it. <laughs> and then you can pick what kind of measurement, whether it's nominal, scale, ordinal type of data for the data variables. Okay, as the audience, we think your takeaway should be don't be afraid of diving deep into the pre-processing phase. Take some time to become familiar with this great SPSS software avail available to you through Miami. And keep on keeping on being the best beginning data analysis you can be. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day. Bye bye for now.